Hello everyone. In this video, we will determine if the given exponential equation is an exponential growth or an exponential decay. This is the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. So in this equation that we have here, y equals a b to the power x, our a here is the starting value, or they call it, sometimes they call it as the initial value. Our b here is either growth factor or decay factor, depending on the uh, given problem. And then we have an exponent of x. So um, there are two cases that we can have here. It's either it's an, an exponential growth or an exponential decay. So in any case, if it's an exponential growth, our b is actually equal to 1 plus r, where our r here uh, uh, represents the growth rate. Well, in exponential decay, the b is equal to 1 minus r. Again, the r here will represent the decay rate. Now, I'll give you a trick to uh, better uh, to determine if it's an exponential growth or an exponential decay based on an equation. So if our b is greater than 1, then our uh, that equation is an exponential growth. Well, on the other hand, if b is greater than 0 but is less than 1, then that is an exponential decay. Now let's take this example right here. So we are given an equation uh, y equals 13 uh, parentheses 7 over 5 raised to the power x. So let's first determine the a. So our a or the initial value for this is 13. So 13 is the initial value that's in front of these parentheses. Now our b here is 7 over Five, which is pretty much 1.4. So just by looking at this, it's 1.4. Is that greater than 1 or does it fall between greater than 0 and less than 1? That falls here. It's greater than 1. So pretty much this equation that we have here is an example of an exponential growth. So I'm going to write here exponential growth. In this problem, we are asked for the percent rate of change, or we are, in this case here, we're supposed to determine the growth rate. So to find for the gro uh, growth rate, we're going to use this equation for B. So that is B is equal to 1 plus R. So our B again is 1.4. So then that is equal to 1 plus R. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides, minus 1 and minus 1. So then we can go ahead and cross this out. So our uh, growth rate would be 0 0.4 or we can express this in um, percentage and that would be 40%. So this is our growth rate. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we have here this um, um, this notes that we did from the first um, slide. So we look at the first example right here. So our A in this problem is 3. So that's the initial value, 3. And then our B here is 0 0.85. So we're going to look at here. I gave you the trick already on how to determine if it's an exponential growth or decay. So if our B is greater than 1, it's exponential growth. If our B is greater than 0 but it's less than 1, that's exponential decay. Since the B here is less than um, 1 but it's greater than 0, so this is an example of an exponential decay. So this is exponential decay. Now we're supposed to find the rate of decay or decay rate. So we're going to use this equation right here. So b is equal to 1 minus r. So then our b is 0 0.85 equals 1 minus r. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides minus 1 here. So then we are left with negative r is equal to 0 0.15 and that's a negative so we can divide both sides by negative 1 to make it positive because we want the r so then our r is um, actually a positive value which is 0 0.15 or 15 percent if we want that in percentage did you get 0 0.15 or 15 percent as the answer for the second problem right here good 
Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. Our A here. No others are gonna think that, oh, there's no oh, A, so it's no. zero. Remember, there is an invisible number in front of the one point, this parenthesis right here, and that value is one. If this was a zero, so if A was a zero, everything else would be zero because anything multiplied by zero is zero. So the A actually here is one. So then we find the B, our B here is 1.2. So I can actually write an invisible uh, one right here. So let me put that in here. So that's invisible one right there, okay. Since we have a value of greater than one, this is an example of an exponential growth. So that's exponential growth. Now to find for the growth rate, so that would be, we're gonna use this equation right here. So that would be B is equal to one plus R. Again, we're using this because that is an exponential growth. Now others are gonna say, oh, why did you use a different equation for this second problem right here? Because remember, this is an example of an exponential decay, so I'm going to use this equation. Now, the next one is an example of an exponential growth, so then I'm going to use this equation to find for R or the growth rate. So that would be 1.2, so I'm gonna write 1.2 here equals one plus r. So then we want r by itself, so minus one and minus one. So then we can cross the one out. So we're left with r is equal to 0 0.2 or this is 20%. So if we, uh, so in this formula, this is growing, uh, the exponential growth or the growth rate is um, 20%. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!